Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today is going to be a long video. So get prepared, get ready, have your snacks, have your popcorn, have anything that you need to watch this video, um, because it's going to be a long one. It's, what we are going to be working on is finally is finishing the end of the riverbank, also connecting and finishing the courtyard to the riverbank. It's, it's, it's like a two-piece setup uh, puzzle that we're going to be trying to do here. And I have an idea, and it took me forever to get it right. I wanted a multi-layer. I wanted a dock boat area on the back as well. I wanted to put fence. I wanted to have a finishing in front of the courtyard as well uh, next to the river so where you can stand. Also have a, another little opening for another boat area. And, and yeah, so I, I had a couple of, couple of reference pictures that I have that I was looking of what, what I wanted to do. So I wanted to do, um, I wanted the riverbank to come down as a sideway stairs coming down. Then you have a little platform and then stairs coming down again, right in the middle, coming down and, add, and then the big platform, right? and maybe have a little seating area, maybe have, uh, and then and then work on the decoration. And then when you look from the bottom, I wanted to look from the top and from the very top where we are coming from the courtyard towards the riverbank, I kind of wanted that you also be able maybe to stand there and look. And I went through a couple, couple designs. I made the wall high, I made the wall low, uh, I changed the colors, I changed the, the stair I changed how wide I wanted it to be and and we just went at it um, and I lost track of time and one of the reasons this video came out long I never felt that I had a section that I was like okay I can stop right here because and this and then we make a part two it just I never had a complete version a, a place where where I could stop and at the same time I was never really satisfied and I just kept playing, 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 and next thing I know, it was a long time, and I was like, oh my gosh, this video is going to be really long. The good thing is I've heard from some of you that you guys like the long videos, and you know, I, I'm going to try to uh, really explain what we're trying to do, what were the ideas, um, and yeah, so so what you have seen so far, right? Real quickly, I made the, the stairs that are leading from the courtyard going to the riverbank so at least i have that out so now we see the opening in and out and and that was um one of the quickest things that i knew i wanted to do all that will, will change a little bit in the future and then right here i was like okay i want to make the stairs and then make the platform and that's what we're going to work on and i knew i wanted all the stairs to go from the lower part of the riverbank and to go up and like i said in the beginning there's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I'm gonna be trying this. We're gonna, uh, it feels like it's almost completed and then I'm gonna take it down, scoot it back and then put it forward. I think one of the ideas uh, in my mind and thing really came true all the way to the end is the riverbank wasn't high enough. I, I, I think what I wanted to do if the riverbank was almost maybe in a third tier level of my island and then i i think the feel of the stairs would come out more of what i was envisioning after looking at reference pictures and ideas to to do this build but it it, it was only like one two steps and then you build a platform and then one more step going down and i wish i had more more of a feel to the stairs going down to one platform and then stairs again going down to another platform I think that the idea still came true at the very end I was it, it came true right uh, I, I, I meant it I managed it to work but for me I wish it would have been higher like every every tier would have been higher so this you would have a little more stairs and that and that would be my my wish but on the good news part is I know I'm gonna have more river banks uh, I, I, that's something aesthetic that I really like in my islands and because I, I want to have rivers connecting through 
the towns and the cities. And so I know I'm going to have more riverbanks. So I'm, I think in the future, it, I want to do it again. May not be identical design because I don't want another identical design. Uh, we we want to keep improving our designs, right? But it's going to be taller. And, and I think that's what I'm hoping. I think um, if I would have made this section right here, but of course the courtyard right here, but if it would have been on the other side of the riverbank where it's higher, I think that that design, what I had in mind would have come out a lot better. But of course, we are working right behind of the courtyard. And that's where where the design had to be. The good news is that we're finally uh, finishing the last touches of the riverbank and the courtyard. Uh, after this and after this video, we can finally start talking the ideas that we are going to be trying to tackle next, right? And I'm, I'm planning to make a, a talk video. Uh, we, we're gonna walk a little bit of the island. I'm gonna go over some of the ideas that I have, uh, things that are in my in my in my mind and that I'm thinking of that I'm gonna try to approach. And once we we get to that video, um, I'm hoping that you guys will comment and bounce some ideas. And that way, because I, I want to keep making videos that you guys are gonna be interested. Uh, but I'm also want to be a little more uh, unique than a lot of, of the other Dincom uh, creators are there. So I, I think I have an idea to approach our town and our build, and I'm excited to share that. But that will be hopefully the next video. So, okay, so right here. So, so as you see, we are making this, we, we made stairs coming from the riverbank. Now we're going down, right? And I still, I was planning to attach that walk, the entrance to the courtyard, right? The lower one now to this little platform. And we're gonna see that, that I do try to do that. But at, at the end, I kinda, we went ahead and took it out. So, and because I, the idea that I had for that corner, I, I really wanted it you guys gonna see it. We, we, we're gonna plant like some tree. I have a little green. It, it, it's, a, it's an idea because I'm looking at this picture that I kind of wanna uh, reference to and, and I like it. And and so so I went ahead and, and took that out and we're gonna take that out. So so here is is where that second platform, right? And, and I wish, like I said, I wish everything was a little taller. That way, instead of being one square and then you got that platform or you know, it would have been like two, three squares high, and then we got a platform, then instead of having just two stairs, uh, cases going down, maybe it would have been three or four. And and if you guys are duplicating this, right? And you guys are, are building this build, I think you guys can make something really cool. Like take this idea, I think, um, and, and make it to your taste, of course. But if I think if you stretch it, because then you will have like a, this multi-level, platform uh, system and and just aesthetically i think it's going to look good it's, it gives you a little bit of design so so that back wall where i put the two bricks eventually we're going to raise it then we're going to really raise it really high and then we're going to bring it down and then we're going to find a, a sweet spot um in in our spot and and this is why i said this video is going to be a, a kind of long because we are we are really testing and we're going back and forth back and forth and and I know I had this in my mind that in, in previous video, uh, one of the other longer ones that I made that came out to be 36 minutes long, you know, I, I was afraid that it would have been too long, but you guys responded that you guys like the long videos. So we're gonna give it another try and keep it long. But I want you guys to be honest, if, if there's like sections that are too too long and you guys feel, you know, yeah, let, let, let just keep it to the main part of the design that is gonna be more the final, then I can edit things in between and still make it, make the videos make sense of the progress, but that way you guys can not to be too too bored or just waiting for the for the final um, for the final build. But and, and that's when I, I really need you guys to really comment. And I know I got some some of you guys are very uh, you guys love to comment and I appreciate your support. Uh, and and it really encourage and to know that that we as a channel and as a community we're heading to the right uh, areas when we are working on these videos. Okay, so what we were seeing here again, and I'm making now a, a little wall on the side because I kind of wanted to close this out 
because we're gonna make the bottom platform as you guys were seeing. And then you guys were seeing also the, the staircase that I put at the very end. Then what I was thinking right here is like, okay, so what I can do is kind of create another entrance. I can use another green arch that will match the courtyard aesthetic and I can put it there and then I can raise things up. And, and that was a cool idea, but at the end I noticed that I was, I wanted the wall to go even more longer. I, I wanted it to be more a wall. And so we ended up taking the, uh, the green arch and we ended up taking that little entrance. And what we end up doing is it's just kind of like a little hallway that's going to come down with a stair and that's going to be more in the final. So here I was trying to, and like I said, I'm, 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 I got like three different pictures that I'm using as reference and I'm trying to combine all three to create this design idea that I really like after looking at the reference. And so one section has like this trees and flowers and all that kind of like, like, like a little green mini garden corner. And then we got these high walls. And, and that's where you're slowly gonna start seeing, okay, well, I kinda wanna raise this. I wanna make this feel like we have more more walls, more more high, more levels, and, and we're gonna be working on that. And but that's why this section right here is gonna be green. The rest, I was trying to move away from using concrete and brick. So I was trying to use wood, I was trying to use uh, other, other other tiles so to see if we can get something that felt better. But at the very end, I can tell you right now, we went again with uh, the brick and the good thing is we're right next to the courtyard. So the brick looks good. The cement, the cement tiles are just so good, right? Like to me, they, they, they look good. I like the way concrete walls look and I haven't been able to find something better. But last night, uh, I'm hoping that you guys also follow Rips Gaming. He was streaming. And uh, I did post it on my community tab. So if you guys uh, haven't seen it, go to the community tab and look at the screenshot that I took of his uh, stream and go ahead and watch that stream as well. It was it was such a good stream because he's such creative. He really, his builds are amazing. His stadium that he did is, is, is wow. It's, it's just, and, and the thing that he comes up with, right? He's in, in a whole different level that I am. I'm, I'm trying to create a town and a field and roads and all that. And he makes humongous builds and he's super creative when it comes to what he's trying and the ambition and the, his imagination that he has. So, so if you haven't seen his channel, go ahead and go. He's, he's an amazing Dincom content creator. So go over there. But the, on his stream, sometimes we get a guest appearance and it's the James, the developer of Dincom. And sometimes he, he gives hints, sometimes he comments. And last night he gave us a little glimpse of future, at least one future uh, tile that we're gonna have. And it kind of looks like white marble, it's just a whole different, and I really like it. Like, And that's why I posted the screenshot because I, you know, being honest, I just can't wait for those updates to come to see what we're gonna have. And, and the, the good thing is we're building, right? And we'll, and we are creating this build, we are making the layout. And for me right now, what I'm concentrating in my island is creating my town layout because I, I have hope and I, and I have a feeling that the James, the creator of Dinkum, is gonna add a lot of items. So I'm not too worried sometimes about filling up the space that I need. I just, I'm trying to use my imagination of what the area is gonna be in the future. And I'm hoping that, I mean, my hope, and I'll be honest, and James, if you're listening, this is my hope. Like you almost make almost all the items that we have in Animal Crossing. Because if, if, if you can even come close to that, all those amount of items in the future in updates and you can release them in waves so we have more content and more updates and, and the commuter just keeps staying strong. But if we ever come to that point of item creation and level, this game is gonna last forever. I mean, it's, and, and that's, my hope. I mean, um, I mean, it's, it, I'm not hiding the fact that I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing. I played that game for a, a, a long time, and, and you know, but we, we got to a point that we were looking for for something different, but at the same time, close. And Dinkum has been the best. I've tried all the games. I tried all their other tribe of games like this one, and 
the income is, is just right there. I just love the aspect of building. I love that we have this camera that we go around. I love that we can look at our island in different angles. So our perspective is not just this one angle that we can what that we can look at what we built, but we we you know if, if you want to be really good and really creative, we we are looking at builds in three, four, or even all four directions to see how everything's gonna be looking, right? And and yeah, so that's my hope, you know, and, and that's my dream is I, I want Dincom, you know, to be that game that that will compete with the big ones, that that the community that love uh, creating, that love uh, building, that loves decorating, that loves to keep restarting and and be ambitious and push the limits of a game with items and creation. That's that's where I want this game to be. Uh, and I'm hoping, you know, and I know, I know we don't know how long James is going to be working on this and uh, what's his, his own goal for Dincom because um, I know he loves the game. I've heard a couple of him on interviews and podcasts that he's been on, and, but he also has other projects that he would like to work on. So so if, if even if we, it's just items and more items in the future and more created items and that's the updates that we get down the road. So this game can stay alive and he just keeps adding more items and different style of item and then we go from from eastern items egyptian item uh, roman items you know just cultural items and any any of those type of items that it just comes in updates and in waves that's what i, I feel like that's what's going to keep this game alive and that's what's going to keep dinkum strong in the community because there's i think we are in an era in gaming right now that people are loving being creative building their town doing the farming you know and but the creative aspect is what is keeping some of those games strong because they can keep doing something new and different in their own island and then then as it's done they take a picture they do a walk tour the recorder and then next thing you know they want to create another one and i'm hoping that's where we end up i'm hoping that's where we're gonna be but going back to my original thing is that I'm excited you know we just got a glimpse of what James is trying to develop and create for us and having new pathing is uh, new tiles for is, is amazing because it's not just for the floor and for walkways but it's also we're gonna be able to use it for walls and 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 we can create something else something different and the more create created aspect that we can have then the more we are gonna be able to create amazing things. So yeah, okay, so let's get back. Let's get back to the build. Let's get back to what's going on. Okay, so right now, as you're seeing, um, I'm still trying to decide what kind of tile I wanna use. What do I like? Do I, do I like this brick with the hardwood? Do I want this part to be wood? Do I like the edging on the top to be just a stone path and have dirt because I have the grass? Uh, I put the fountain. We ended up taking the fountain, uh, and and we are we just testing. So right here, I'm testing again. I wanted to see what it looked like with the cement tile. So, but I didn't know if I wanted to keep that. So we just clean it up, and and this is why this is why video came out long. I wanted to see. So I was like, okay, let's make a dark area. So maybe I should go with wood. So and maybe go with a different type of wood. So now we're doing gum wood, and we're gonna try to see if we if I like the look, and. Like I said, and I told you guys earlier, there was nothing that came that I, I like me personally. And I want you guys always to remember because my taste is different than your taste. That doesn't mean that you guys may be watching this right now and you guys are like, I like the wood. I like the gum wood. I like how that looks. And I want to do the walls that are brick. I want to do it this one and go for it because, and that's exactly what you need to do. That's exactly how you, I want you to feel. I want you to feel that your creation you know, I want you to get inspired. And if you're stuck, just duplicate it. And as you duplicate it, maybe you do something extra to it and then you make it your own. And then you change the tiles, you change this, you change the decoration. And, you know, we're here just to help each other, to inspire each other, uh, to keep building the community, to make Dinkum an amazing game and spread the word and tell other people to play this game too. So we, so this can keep growing, right? But but I was not happy with the gum wood, uh, wood either. So I went ahead and, and take it off. And, and I think I, 
I don't know if I try another color or another tile, but I went ahead. At the very end, is where where it ends up being uh, cement and the brick. So far, those are my, my my two favorite tiles that I like to use the most, uh, especially when it comes to the, the way they construct each other is really good, you know, and I I, I really love it. Is the the cement has this texture to it that it just looks more real, and and right now since I made other uh, docking area, you know, if you watched the previous video, we we finished the bridges and we ended up making a couple more uh, docks for for boats so. So when you're going around the rivers, you can dock your boat, get get off from them. So I was like, you know what? I can still finish and make this dock area also cement. And we'll keep it that way. That way everything is matching. The only other dock area that I have is in the town hall area, but that one looks good. I, I really did like how that one came out and I like the color. Uh, I think we went with gumwood and we got the dock and all that and it's gray. We got two boats over there. And that's my next goal. Uh, my, my next goal is to, I need to gather a lot of materials. So, and I wanna create more boats so I, so I can place them in the water. So it just, you know, so you can start feeling a little more of the decoration. So that way when, when I do a little tour or we're walking around the island, it looks a little more full and the areas that, that are meant to have uh, the boat docks, I wanna have the boats. Okay, so right here, you saw, we took the fountain out uh it was no vibing uh the, the picture that i'm looking at it actually has like a little water very flat like a little water square fountain and of course right now we only got one fountain um i'm hoping that something it comes in the new updates maybe two three more fountains or maybe maybe we can customize the fountain that we have to at least it's no longer brick and we can make it Maybe it'd be great if we can grab like the paint that, that we get and we can kind of paint the like the the boxes and all that and the vehicles. I, I wish we could grab the paint and paint a couple more things. You imagine if we can do the fountains, if we could do the bridges and get, get close with the paint. Okay, I want this bridge to be blue and you go with the blue paint and bam, and you put it. Oh man, that'd be amazing because and then, you know, it's, it's not like then we don't need more bridges. We can just paint the bridges to the color that we will need. So imagine that we can make a white bridge too. We can make this more aesthetic or a yellow or a red or and all the colors that we have. Uh, maybe we go chrome and we have a bridge that's really uh, vibrant, you know, gray, just, you know, and he can add more colors into the game that we have to find in the mines. And, and then that way it gives us more. So. He doesn't even have to develop more type of bridges. We can just paint them. And and right now, I, I will go in that route. Give me the, the option if, we, if if it would be an easy fix for him to do, like an update, like, oh man, that I, I never thought of that. Let me go ahead and, and grab the paint, get close to the bridge, and you go, bam. And that bridge now is this color. And I think that will open up. Could you imagine my courtyard right now if I could paint those bridge, that, that brick color? to another color and I can make my columns into specific colors that that'd be well not the columns because the columns are actually dirt with the top but the bridges so we I can have like a a different top of on the on the courtyard and then maybe we can have a two tone and we can make a match you know but those are dreams those are maybe things that and who knows maybe he is already working on that or doing something similar or he's creating more bridges for us and more fountains and more things that we can use so that way it's not not the same bridges or the same fountain and but that comes with time right he's only one person developing the game so we all know we gotta be patient uh we gotta be calm and and not to be too too eager i mean uh, i love the christmas update and for me that christmas update gave us so much hope i was like wow these items are beautiful what we just created for just the Christmas season, it was perfect. And and I know that's his mind is in the right place, the way he's thinking. Okay, so so now we're getting closer to the true bill, right? The the, the the bill that's gonna be here. I've been wanting to use these lights because you know I crafted all these lights a while back and my idea never worked out the way I wanted to use them. So I was like, okay, can I use them here? Can I do something? I wasn't feeling it. I hope that maybe you guys can use them and do something really cool. 
and this one the, this life right here right if you guys go back to maybe the first museum video part one or maybe part two i made these lights because i want to use something different right for the museum area and i crafted them i made a bunch of them because i know i was gonna need a lot and i ended up not liking it didn't like him in the museum and did not like him inside the courtyard so i had like all these ones and i was like oh and i don't have any of the other one i was and i wasn't feeling to stop the build to to go and get materials and and craft and all that so i was like okay let me see if i like this for this the back of the courtyard and use them in the end in the dock area slash courtyard right right here and I will tell you, I kind of like it. I, I kind of like him right here in this area. I, I Because I think the museum, I want it to be more elegant. And I feel like the ones that I use there are more elegant than this one. And I like how they look better. And this ones in this side over here, I think they look really good. So these are the lamps that I ended up at the end after placing them and putting where I want them. This is where I let them be and I'm very happy with them. I have no plans of changing them, but like always, use the ones that you guys want. You guys may, you guys maybe are making something more rustic and you guys may use your, the, the wooden lamps. And so use the lamps that you, you guys wanna use. But I finally, I was kinda happy that I was able to use this uh, copper tone lamps and gives it a little bit a different tone, something else to look at in this area and and finally i mean i i built this i gathered so many materials just to build this lamp so i'm happy that i'm i got to use them okay so here's the other thing at first i like the idea of putting the fence in the water halfway and all that and then the more i thought about it i was like man i don't know if i really like it so what i did is i kind of took half of them off build and um, one more tile out and we are going to pull half half of them normal. Then I went to the other side of the river and I wanted to see what looked better uh, for me. And I ended up going the one that are a little higher. Uh, I think either way you choose to go on this, it, it will work because it's, it's different, it's aesthetic. Uh, it's like, oh, the water's under the fence and then you can see a little bit more. Uh, the other one is normal, it's higher, and then you have a, you, you see kind of the cement wall going down on the water. So it's more gonna be more pleasing to your eye specifically, uh, and which route, how different you wanna be, um, what, what you like the best. And like I say, I like both. Uh, uh, I, I thought the first idea that I had, I was like, oh, I think this is gonna be really cool. But there, there was something that for me, it was a little too low to be considered a fence. So I, I wanted to see what it feel like if I made him higher and made him a little normal. And, and that's what I did. So um, I kind of went far away and looked at it. So if you guys are duplicating this and you got your courtyard, you guys want to see, that's if your courtyard is next to a river. Because if it's not next to a river, you guys can make just the two sidewalk and then the next part of your island is going to push out that way, right? Or it could be just a forest right behind it. So depending on what your island and what you're being creative on, then you will know what you guys need. Okay, so so now I'm over here and thinking, okay, I may want some kind of design on the wall. So if you see the one on the back, right? I got like cement, two bricks, and then cement, kind of to make a little pattern. So it's not just all cement or all brick. So I was thinking here, okay, so, so which route do I want to go? Do I want to go brick, brick, cement, cement? So we're going to try a couple versions right here. But eventually I do notice and that it was this wall i didn't catch it just yet but then i noticed it and we're gonna change it it's just a little higher than the courtyard and i was like oh no i want it to be kind of the same high as the courtyard i don't want this to be taller than the courtyard um and like i always say if you guys like it keep it that way you guys want to go even higher go higher you guys want to go lower go lower uh but for me i i did have to once i realized it i had to kind of undo the top part I think either take one square or two square off. And then the future plan is I didn't have any. I, didn't, I had to get materials. I want to build a couple more of the brick flower boxes and kind of match the top with a little bit of, of greenery. But I want to see how it looks like. 
If I don't like it, then I keep it the way it is. Just keep it more blank. So it's, there, there were a couple of things that I didn't get to do at the very end of the video. And those, those are very small things that I will do off camera just to see if that's something that I like. And cause this video was already long, like I said. So here I am once again, trying some of the new, uh, those new pathings and it's, I can I cannot make it work except for the few things that I made it work on on the courtyard right when we use them in the corner I, I think that design for me is just too much that it's just I, I wish there was like a flower break and then a flower like automatically will kind of space them out or if somehow you could choose so but you guys may like it and go ahead and go for it uh, use the tiles that you guys like for the builds and that, but that way it'll be your own bill. So here we are, this is when I noticed, I was like, oh no, it's a little higher. So I wanna kinda fix this, so, and this is what we did. And that way it's more, now it's like, okay, now it's it's, it's, it's great. It's gonna be working with uh, what I want. So we're, we're fixing it again, and now we have it right on the right height with, with the courtyard. And then it's my choice. If I want to do the brick bo uh, boxes and I want to to put some in there to kind of match at least some area, bring some greenery to it, um, maybe I don't. So so we'll see how everything's gonna be at the end, um, and in in the video uh, because right now it, it was so long. I'm I'm trying to remember a little bit ahead of time what did I did, and but yeah, a lot of times I'm like, man, I can't remember exactly which route that I went uh, on it. I think I had like one or two, I think I just have one as we can see. So I wanted to see what it looked like real quick. And like I said, it's something I will try off camera just to see if I like it or not. I don't know if I'm going to like it uh, and it maybe just stay as a wall and, and, and we'll leave it like that, very simple. Okay, but the other thing that I kind of wanted, and I wanted a little, kind of I, I didn't want to make a big wall all the way to the back right uh, that way when you're standing in the bottom platform you look up but I, I wanted to have a little more division so I started thinking okay what about and and this is where the video really extended because technically I could have say oh I'm done stop it right here but my brain was still working and I was like what if I do and put kind of like a block wall on the back just to create a little more dimension. So when you're looking from right here down, you see kind of like another wall. And then from that, I was like, okay, so what about if I make an official entryway to the courtyard instead of just the stairs going down? And like I said, if you guys like more that look of the stairs just going down, keep it that way. So what, what I decided to do is like, okay, well, let me make official entrances to the courtyard the way that we have been doing them. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be risky. This is gonna be a lot of work to do that if I don't like it at the end, it's, it's gonna be a lot of work just to take out, right? But here we are. We are we are raising the wall. Uh, I knew I wanted it to to, to be higher. Uh, right here, I'm right now still testing it. I wanted to see like, okay, I kinda like the look. I kinda like the way it's looking. So I'm, I'm taking it like a little slower. Uh, I, I was very, very undecisive like do i want to do this do i not want to do it but i was like but i think it will look really really good right like but then i remember that to do this i'm going to have to take actually all the stair steps right we had to take them all out because once you put bridges on top all that goes away and uh, it just you you can you can place the bridge and or things will disappear but the good thing is that that walkway is kind of like hidden at the end with the roof. So when you're walking through it in and out, you can't really see it. So, and the character really walks well with just, just with the, the, the normal steps of just the blocks. So, so, so to do it just right the way that I wanted, I just went ahead, took all the stairs out and left the steps in the way they just normally are as a block and just put them in. So even at least from far away as you're walking to it, it just all looks cement, like it's just cement going up. And and I think that that really uh, worked out well. So 
So this is the same build that we've been doing. So if you remember the build that we've been working on in all the courtyard, if you've been following that series, or you've been duplicate, uh, duplicating the build, it's the same thing. Uh, and so, so we do the right high and all that, have your brick uh, bridges ready, and we're gonna go ahead. The good thing, I still have four left for all those many that I make back when we were working on the courtyard and all that. So I still have four. So here, of course, I did the mistake. I forgot that, that I need to take one section off. So that way the bridge can fall where I wanted it to fall and not be this length, but a little shorter. So, so we're gonna see that, that we are going to take out a, a little section that way and you just need to take like one little square so it doesn't register that square so now it's lower so it can fall in the way that i want and then what we did is eventually to tighten the bridge we raise uh, to hide the bridge form of it we just uh, raised right in the middle we put blocks higher and make them break and kind of hides part of the bridge like right here and just kind of hides it a little bit and then we have kind of like more of a formal official entrance from the courtyard uh well uh coming from the river bank towards the courtyard right uh and then from this angle down here it looks kind of cool i wish i could now finish it because now it looks like we have a blank space but that blank space means that we have uh down here what, what we're working on the kind of the dog courtyard area where we could be receiving things maybe right here people are docking stuff that you know, if we use our imagination and it's coming things that people are bringing towards the museum or something like that. So, so yeah, so, and, and that's where we, we, we kind of started heading. Uh, I was trying to add a little more greenery around some of the areas. I wanted to see what, what we could do. And you're gonna be seeing me now just thinking. I wanted to see how everything was looking, was anything feeling off. And I, I was getting to the point that I was uh, really happy with the designs coming. I still knew I wanted to do some benches uh, and maybe at the fireplace. I had this idea like, man, I can add the fireplace towards down here to create kind of like a little sitting area, a little with a little moon. Um, what you guys saw is I wanted to break a little bit of the cement. So instead of keeping the cement step, I was like, man, I haven't done brick stairs in a long time. So I went away, went away, I created those specifically just for this build, came back and we added them. And I think that that really made a little bit of a look a little better. Right here we added uh, one of the cherry trees just to have a little bit different trees. Uh, it's, it's the new fruit, it's the new tree that we have. So I kind of want to put it there front and center. So right here now this came out a little hidden, right? You cannot see them. So what I decided on is, okay, I wanna raise the level of this. Uh, I don't remember if I did one or two, so we'll see it very quickly. I think it was just, let's see, one, two. Okay, so we did it by two. And then I think I went up and put in, did I put the brick boxes back? I'm trying to think. I, it's been a, a moment, uh, you know, cause you, you record all this gameplay and then uh, we do all the work at the end. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let, let's just keep watching, but yeah, uh, we are we are here trying to, I think we're gonna add another bridge right back here. And I, I think that's what we're gonna be uh, working on. It's that way the roof is a little more closed and instead of having a big gap, uh, a big gap on it. So yeah, so, and, and, and that's what we're doing right now. It's just, we're gonna be adding more, uh, another bridge to this area and that way uh, it feels uh, more complete, there's less gap. Here's where I forgot to add, you know, to take one square off so it doesn't register, so I can then put it the right place. Then we're gonna do the same thing we did uh, last time. We're gonna raise it by two square right in the middle so it closes out the bridge. Um, and yeah, and I think now we have like this little, little long tunnel, right? That we're going from the courtyard in or we're going from the riverbank and we're going down. And yeah, and I, I started to like it a lot is I think the build for for my taste is I think I have now an kind of official entrance coming from the riverbank going down to the courtyard. And I think aesthetically everything is coming out uh, really well. I added all those green hedges right there in the front of the at the end of the courtyard in the very back. But I added all of those right there. 
um, and here is when this last column I was like mmm it's not working for me I, I think I don't know when exactly I took it out but I went ahead I know I stopped I looked at it and I was like mmm it's I kind of want it now to this to tighten more to the edge of the courtyard so I know I we're gonna end up taking that last column out and and just bringing it all the way down to the ground and just and just finishing and, and keeping it nice and and the same length to to the courtyard and right now all I'm doing is just checking uh, we're looking to see how everything is looking I, I was trying to decide if there was anything else that I wanted to change uh, or to add uh, and when it came to the decoration like I said it's becoming a little uh, no not complicated but I'm trying to figure out uh, I'm trying to learn that I don't have to decorate the area to the fullest just yet if I don't have the inspiration or I don't have the idea because I think we still I'm hoping for more items in the future and I think that's what's gonna some of these areas we're gonna come back and and finish them in, in many ways but I don't want it just to be bare right so I, I wanted to make sense for what it is and keep it that way so here I was trying to I kind of wanted to try the fireplace in this area and so I went ahead and took that, that little section out we put the fireplace I think I end up adding bricks to the back to the wall and I can't remember if I left it with cement eventually or not but I know we did that uh, and we are gonna add some benches to it pretty soon and added the final lamp again because we, we took one out so we, I want to add it back in so that way at night time uh, we have some some light source and yeah and the good thing is now we are getting very close to the end of this build and as you guys see uh, I think finally everything's coming together so now all the pieces that we've been working that you guys have been following through every series through every part is coming together and and yeah um, I'm it's exciting it's exciting because uh, in, in many ways I was really scared when I was doing this build and what I mean by scare is there were a couple times and you know that you, you, you're working so long and then it's not coming out the, the vision that you got in your head is not playing out and and you're like you're like man I, I really want to make this work I, I want to make it the way I, I envision it and and it's really good when you get to these points when I get to rewatch this video like this and see from where we started to where we are ending and it's such a nice feeling and and then when you when you look beyond the bill when I'm looking right now and looking at the ribbon when I look at the courtyard and the way everything is tidying together and it's flowing and it looks like it's this one massive bill that is everything is cohesive and and together and it's just it's really nice and and it's very I don't know happy uh, pleasing so so yeah so here we're putting some benches for now uh, and this is when you be creative you do you uh, decorate it the way you want it uh, you when you may want to want to use couches or chairs you may want to use a bonfire instead of the fireplace you guys may want to use these lights here I was trying one more time to use those lights but I still didn't feel it like this looks nice but I don't like it when I look at it from this angle and it could be just me so um, but let me know maybe and, and this is when sometimes I'm like I love to hear your input I love to see your comments because and you guys have helped me there were a couple of bridges that I wanted to take out I, have, I read the comments some people say no you should leave it and we leave it and and this lights I, I want to use them right and I keep trying you guys seen them in many videos I'm trying to use them but sometimes I feel like they're too busy or they take away or they take too much of the visual on the top and I kind of don't right now like I don't want the visual to break from when you see the museum and see the entrance of the courtyard now so you know we could add them back we could take them off um, I could feel different next week I could feel you know in a month from now when I come back and I may put them again I feel great about them yeah but it is sometimes I, I wonder what you guys are building and what you guys are doing and but I, I hear some of your description in comments and it's great to imagine that and I've taken some inspiration for some of your comments 
uh, because they make sense. And I'm like, you know, that's actually a good idea. I kind of want to do that too. So here, what we're doing is rearranging the, the lamps. Instead of where I had them, I, some of them I had to move one square and then align them. That way I have equal and the same way um, placement. And that way, it, when you look at it from the other side of the river, everything looks good. Everything, you know, right here and everything looks perfect. Perfect for now. Let's put it that way. There's always a pin right there when you are building and creating. And, and it's funny because we keep evolving, right? We keep improving and builds that we did in the past. We're like, man, I could do that better now. I could just keep improving this. But I'm, I'm ready uh, to tackle another big project, right? We'll be working in this section, in this area of the island for a couple of videos now, right? We, the, the museum and courtyard was the longest series we, we did. And then the Christmas update came. That was great. We did, we did a little break right there. And then we started working again on the bridges because before I, I wanted to branch out to a whole different section on the island, I kind of really wanted to finish putting together the last couple little things. Okay, so right here, um, I, I changed my mind. Well, didn't change my mind. Uh, you know, as you guys heard in a couple of videos, you know, uh, I do have a person that does help me. It's my wife to collect material on, you know, she sometimes she comes over here on my island. Sometimes she plays on her island. She collects stuff. She built things. And she didn't like how I had the fountains buried. <laughs> She's like, you know, I, I kind of like it more. And, you know, we talk about it. We debate about it. I told her my reasons why I want it like this and all that. You know, and but at the end, I think she made good point. We uh, went ahead and, and put the fountains back uh, on the top. But then I was able to duplicate the pattern that I did on the courtyard fountain in the bottom and added those little tiles just for effect, just for aesthetic. But right now, we finally made it to the end of the video. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and we'll see you next time. All right. See you later. Bye.